about T.D. Jakes, P. Diddy, allegations. I want to talk about some others, too. I didn't want to make this video, and this is my last video on the subject. I will never make another video about this. But I have to make this video because I want to bring clarity to a previous viral video that I made. I made a viral video several days ago that's already at over two something million. And Happy New Year, man. Um, but I, I have to make this video today because I want to bring clarity um, to this. And I've been getting so many questions. So many people have inboxed me. So many people have commented. Thousands, tens of thousands of people have commented or inboxed. And I have to address this situation with the real truth that you need to know. This is the real truth. <clears throat> first thing I wanna say is this, the, although there's a lot I wanna say, but I'm gonna say it in a short time. The first thing I wanna say is that anytime an influencer addresses something like this, there's always two sides of the aisle. And it's as if when you address this, you automatically are thrown into a rift, you know? Either there are people who are for or against. So if you don't say something against, people automatically assume that you're for. And if you don't say something for, people automatically assume that you're against. And hence, why so many are quiet. So many people right now, so many leaders, who should be speaking are quiet. Some of them are quiet for good reasons. Some of them have not had the release to speak on things that they may even know. Some of them have been told, they've been told by God, don't talk about this. Don't speak on this. So I'm not talking about those individuals who have been commissioned not to speak on it, but I'm saying when we speak on things like this, there's an automatic dichotomy that's created. Either you're for someone or you're against someone. If you talk about, you know, not coming to a hasty conclusion, if you talk about being biblical and how we approach this, people assume you're defending sin. You know what? You're just defending, you're defending sin and you're trying to, I thought I knew what you believed and all. And it, it, and I want to tell you something. This is the real truth about this situation. There is a sovereignty in this that I believe most have ignored. Just like the pandemic, God didn't cause it, but he used it to show us ourselves. And I believe that this conversation is going to be one of the greatest revelators of our generation. This is going to really draw a plumb line in the body of Christ and reveal what's in our hearts. I believe that with all of my heart. So I wanna say a couple things quickly so you understand um, my stance. Now there was a video floating around that made false claims about things I never said. I never accuse anyone of being gay, you know, that that's been floating around that some some person is trying to, you know, gain a following and gain clout by putting that out there. But I never said that. But I want to say this. I want to say this because this is so, so important. I believe with all of my heart that holiness is right. Holiness is right. I believe in holiness. I believe in the fear of the Lord. Despite my imperfections, I believe in the fear of the Lord. And I believe that as 
believers, we should do everything in our power, everything with the grace given to us to live a holy life, to abstain from the appearance of evil. To abstain from the appearance of evil. I believe that. I believe that. But I also believe, and I want to, I want you to hear this, please, and tag somebody, tag a prophet, tag a leader, tag somebody that you feel you want to be a part, you want to be in this conversation. I believe with all of my heart that right now the church, I shouldn't say the church, I'm going to say the religious mountain. I'm going to use that, 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 I'm going to use that that phrase, the religious mountain, I believe that the religious community or the religious mountain has been dealing with a sort of spiritual sepsis, a sort of spiritual sepsis. Sepsis is when the body is infected and in response to the infection, there's inflammation, there's all kinds of things. When the body goes into septic shock, there's something called cytokine storm where basically your immune system becomes radical because it's trying to fight something that it can't quite understand. And I believe that that's what we are. I don't believe that everybody speaking on this, all the prophets speaking on this are false. I believe a lot of people are well intended. But I believe there's a sort of spiritual sepsis that needs to be cleansed. And here, here it is. Those of us who have been in the church for years and those of us who walk in this realm, we understand the gravity. After the recent drama and of course a couple of allegations against Bishop T.D. Jakes, we've seen so many people coming out to react to what has been happening to the popular man of God. So he was uh, he was accused of you know getting involved in those unthinkable arts together with PDD and of course some of the reports coming in indicate allegedly that um, uh, past uh, Bishop TD Jakes was involved in a couple of assault cases together with PDD but of course a man of Bishop TD's stature we don't expect him you know to be uh, engaged with Didi with his so many controversies and of course uh, his so many drama that is do that is surrounding him uh, from what I've been seeing online there were a couple of videos you know there was one video that actually surprised me and you know I was I felt a bit disappointed I don't know whether you guys you've seen it where there was one you know uh, gay cop you know who was twerking in front of bishop td jakes and he looked really happy you know if you're a man of god if you're carrying such image obviously we cannot come out and say that he's this or that he belongs to this certain group of people and stuff like that or lgbt and stuff we cannot um come out and frankly say that he's he belongs to that group but if you're carrying uh, such a huge position you're a huge bishop huge name you own a big congregation there are loads and loads of people spiritual people who actually have lots of sp spirituality and of course they do follow you we don't expect you you know to be seen in such a situation then there was another video uh with with him i mean with with diddy and you know diddy tried to appear like he was putting his head onto his you know his chest and you know they looked a little bit like as if they were in a romantic situation you know such things are really i will i will not say that they are disgusting but they are quite disappointing basing on where bishop td jakes comes from you know he's a man of god uh, you know very many people do not believe that he belongs to that certain group of people so we're here criticizing bishop carlton pearson 
and his gospel of inclusion and so many people crucified him and then we are seeing another bishop uh, T.D. Jakes you know getting engaged in such acts it's really um, kind of disappointing but of course we've seen Dr. Kenan Bridges always you know comes out with his um, epic epic preachings and you know uh, reactions uh, like you've heard at the beginning of this video you know it's always interesting but of course i would like to see what your thoughts are on this whole bishop td jakes diddy party situation